hello, YouTube. So, I have a bit of a story time for you. I wanted to film all day yesterday, but it would have been pointless, let me just say. So, Aaron and I, my best friend Aaron, decided that we were gonna go visit Caitlin this weekend. And Caitlin lives in Chicago, so we were going back and forth about like basically our way of transportation, how we were gonna get there, what we were gonna do, blah, blah, blah. Um, ultimately, we decided on taking a bus because to be honest, it's cheap and we're all broke and that's just the best way to do it. So, I get to Aaron's um, Friday morning and you know, we're ready to go, it's pretty early. There wasn't that much rush hour traffic and we get to the bus station and everything's going well and basically okay Chicago basically I went up to the lady at the counter and I was just like hi what zone are we in and she said your bus left at 815 I'm sorry no, no, our bus leaves at 8.45. No, 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 your bus left at 8.15. Oh. So, let me just add a little bit of, like, some mental health in here because I've talked about anxiety before because I experience anxiety, as many humans do. Dyslexia. Dyslexia. I have been battling this my whole life, and I've never, ever known what it was until, like I said before, with anxiety almost. I went to school and started learning about it. Still didn't know I had it. Still had no idea. But this has happened to me so many times. So many times. And I think this is like more of a mild case of it. However, I mix up numbers of everything. Like no matter how hard I stare at this or how much I study it or learn it, I will mix it up. I will. I will do something that switches the numbers and it, it will leave me somewhere lonely because I'll miss a meeting. I'll forget a date because I think it's like, not forget a date, but I'll mix a date with another date. I forget times, so, not forget, why do I keep saying forget? I mix up times, so now I'm missing like scheduled like trips, you know, because of this. Um, I mix up my order numbers for like things that I buy online. It, it's, it's almost insane. Like, that was infuriating and I wanted to cry so bad. I wanted to just curl into a ball and and just cry in the bus station because of how absolutely stupid I felt over something so ridiculously small as 30 minutes of time. And I was even more upset because Aaron's mom drove with us there so she could take Aaron's car back and she told us we should leave early. We should leave at 7.15. If we would have left at 7.15, we would have been there on time and we would have been able to get on the bus. But Aaron and I were like, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. We'll leave at, I mean, I guess I assumed that we would leave at 7.30, but we ended up leaving at like 7.45, 7.50. And I, it was just, ugh. I could not believe how stupid I felt. So anyways, we ended up paying um, 40 extra dollars for us to change our tickets. Um, and the, the, the most horrible part about that experience was that we changed our tickets, however, we were waiting until 12.30 now, so it was 8.30, um, and also this bus ride, which I, I didn't anticipate how long it was going to be, but it took the entire day. So we sat at um, a breakfast place, Green, Green House, Green Rooster, something like that in Cleveland. So good. I liked it. It was really healthy, and it was comfortable. There wasn't a lot of people in there. We just chilled out there for a while and ate some food and just talked. Um, well, this is city life for you, huh? So, when we went back, we got on the bus, and, and everything was honestly fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. There was a lot of, like, weird people on the bus, though. Not a fan of that. Get out of here. There was a lot of weird people on the bus, but, I mean, nothing that was, like, uh, like super crazy. Just people that I wasn't used to being around, and the guy next to us was a little scary, to be honest. Talking about popping someone on the phone. I was like, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep my head down. But the bus ride was hours long and we made like 50 other stops. 
and it, it, it was just, I don't know, man. I, I was expecting to be here at 2.45, and we didn't get here until 7.45. That sucked. It really did suck. Um, but Aaron was so great. It, I think, here's, here's another, like, just life hack, <laughs> but surrounding yourself with the right people is so important. If I would have been with anyone else, or if I would have been alone, I don't think I would have made it. I don't think I would have been able to carry on alone. I would have been suffering. Like, I would have just, I would have sat there. I would have, would have obviously bought another ticket and went to Chicago anyway. But I would have been miserable. I would have let that eat me up inside. I would have, and Erin was so calm and she was so sweet about everything. She was so understanding. And I, I just really think anybody else um, would have been angry with me. Um, it would have been an even worse situation because you're traveling with someone and you're both angry. Um, I just think surrounding yourself with the right people and, and never letting anyone bring you down when you're already down. You don't need those people in your life. Just move on. But anyway, um, so we got here and once again, Aaron and I did not let this bring us down. We were a little crabby when we got here, but then we were like, all right, let's just do something. So we went out with Caitlin and it was so fun. And, um, you know, we just we just had a good time. We like got ready together, which we haven't done in so long. And we just went downtown Chicago and just had a great time. It was it was fantastic. I loved it. Um, I love this city. A chance to get out on the town. Way to dip. Leave Aaron here. Aaron, you stay here. We'll pick you up when oh, we done. If you would excuse me, I have a go. I have to. Oh, I slid in. Oh, I slid in. I slid in. Tea with Trump, aren't you? Team Trump. Yeah, you're just Team Trump. You don't know what happened. And then we're over here. We're fucking smart. No offense, Aaron. <laughs> Slag. Yeah. Oh, suck at my toe. Yes. I like those Literally. stupid videos. I actually watch your stupid videos of your cats. <laughs> <laughs> I literally look at them and go, idiots. I seriously try and wait for like the best ones, but I never know when they're going to like freak out. And the one at the very, very end where they both like stood up and had like, they were just on their back paws. I was like, Lion King. Yeah. Yes. I like that, like, Moon's the instigator because Katen's too fat to move and do things. <clears throat> Moon just likes to, like, he loves to lick her, which is so weird. I know. Oh, what are you doing? I'm like, if I was a cat, I would be an instigator cat. I would attack other cats. <laughs> Moon is his chubs. Mean. Did you see how fat she was in that yeah, one angle? So My bad. God. She's so chunky. Remember when we found her? Well, you found her, but remember when you did? Yeah. You think you were with Marissa. You texted me. You go, you want a cat? I'm like, no, I don't fucking want a cat. <laughs> I was alone when I found her. No. We I mean, might have gone somewhere. Like, I might have taken her to Marissa's, though. Just because... You should have left her to rot in the forest. Never. Where'd you find her again? It's at a free kitten sale. I told my dad I found her on the side of the road, though, so I could keep her. It was at, um... What is that boy's name? Omar Kiauskas' house. <laughs> Who? Oh, the the, oh, the white guy, but the guy. Mm -hmm. I, I remember him.
I like that your grandparents just like put up with your animals and take them in. Yeah, well, that's where. Uh, th th here's the thing, though. They can't put up with anything from me. But if the animals do something. Where's your teeny tiny little crown? I'm hungry. And today we are going to get some deep dish pizza and we're gonna see a comedy show and we might throw a couple other things in there just because Aaron's never been here and like we gotta get some of that touristy stuff out of the way. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll bring you along. I just really, 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 really quickly want to show you um, the the skyline that Caitlin sees from her apartment because her apartment is perfect. It's beautiful. Um, it's quaint and it has this lovely like porch that you can sit on, and I just love it here. But if this is a great spot to be mindful, I, I came out here this morning and practiced a little bit of mindfulness. Just um, did that thing that I taught you guys: five, four, three, two, one. Um, and it was so calming and so relaxing and it just took my breath away because all of the sounds and the skyline and, and it's just amazing. So why don't we practice together. Look at that. Look at that. Comment below five things that you can see, four things that you can hear, three things that you feel like you would know what the feelings of these things, like your touch. So three things that you would touch and what it would feel like to touch these things. Um, Two things that you feel like would be a spell that you could recognize. And one thing that you think this air would taste like. I'm just curious to... Alright guys. Oh. Okay, that's over. Thanks for doing some mindfulness with me this morning. I hope that helps anyone who's feeling a little downer flustered or is having a hard day um let me know but yeah okay I'm going to go and I'll show you what we do today and it's going to be a blast and I'm happy that you guys are coming too bye I'm done with you look at this livid livid I'm done with all of you livids there's Berkey just getting ready what is that what? get out <laughs> I just need to do a post-it house rundown. Let me just do a house you, Yeah, rundown. after you destroyed it, you can do it before you destroyed it. <laughs> so, post-it's beautiful house. Little apartment house. Has all these like nice little hooks. Maybe a little closet. Oh, Erin was ironing. I don't know whose McDonald's cup that is. Yeah. yeah and here's her look, little look, kitchen. Post it. She said, You are literally Moana. You are. And I said, Damn straight. Be here for Halloween. That's what I heard it said. Po post its uh, view. Post its couch. I will be at all in Chicago for Halloween. Seriously? But it's for a bachelorette party for the day. Okay, hear me out. It's
Now we're falling, we're stopping and stalling, we're running in circles again. Just as things were looking up, you said it wasn't good enough, but still we're trying one more time. Maybe we're just trying too hard, when really it's closer than it is too far. Cause I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head instead of going under. Cause I'm in too deep and I'm trying to keep up above in my head instead of going under. Instead Okay, we are at Second City for a comedy show. Hello there, welcome to the show. And it is called Cheesy People. It's beautiful here, it looks like this. What is this? What does this button do? Post it, what does this button do? What? What does this button do? It know. takes photos. Oh. Chicago and it's like bittersweet. I'm ready to go home because I miss Roberto so much. Um, I don't know. There's a lot going on in my life right now that I need to like get sorted and get together and you know I need to be home for that. But I love Chicago and Caitlin's here. I wish that she wasn't anymore and she could just come home. But this was a great trip and I highly recommend going to Chicago. There's so much to do and so much to see and there's always something going on that's free. Um, actually kind of close to the bean, like in Millennium, Millennial, Millennium Park, whatever it is. But it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's worth the trip and I just recommend it. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I haven't, vlogged in a while because I'm like, well, what is there to vlog about? I don't have that much of an, an exciting life. <laughs> um, but I miss vlogging. And I wish I could be on YouTube all the time and do YouTube forever and have no repercussions of it. But, I don't know. I hope to do another video about um, mental health soon. I'm really, like, leaning towards 
um, borderline personality disorder because it's so misunderstood and there's so many like rants that I could go on about things that people say and but yeah I think that'll be probably my next video and I can't wait to see you guys sorry this seems kind of like a bummy ending but I just have a lot of mixed emotions right now about leaving and I mean I don't want to like come on and be ha ha I'm fine you know I am fine but but this is like really how life is and things happen and you have to make decisions and you have to problem solve and you have to be okay with your decisions and you have to move forward every time so oh, not that I have like a huge decision to make but it's just a lot a lot going on all right guys thanks for watching so much I appreciate it I hope you really liked it I hope a little teeny slice of Chicago and what's good in Chicago and I hope you come visit. Alright, ta-ta for now.